Welcome to Midweek with Mumbles Music Ministry. We began with what may have been the first cuckoo you've heard this spring. That was Le Cuckoo, played by Phil, uh, written by Claude Ducan. We continue our path in Lent by thinking of the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And today we think of, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. In a very similar way, as we thought about a couple of weeks ago, you can, to a great extent, emasculate Jesus's prayer by splitting it up into short little clauses and thereby making complete nonsense of it. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And in a similar way, we can lose the meaning of what Jesus says in the part of the prayer we're looking at today if we split it up. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Jesus is very clear that the pathway that his disciples have to follow is the realisation that they need to be forgiven, that they are far from perfect, but as well the realisation that with God there is forgiveness. There is the possibility of change, but with it comes also the responsibility and the difficulty. If you want, it's actually in many ways the cost of Christianity, the real cost of realising that just as we need forgiveness, we should come to realise that others need to be forgiven too. And that just as we want and rejoice that God is shown to us as a loving, forgiving God, so too we are called to be people with forgiving hearts. Now, vitally and importantly, we must set that against the fact that Jesus will go on to talk about evil. Forgiving people is not about pretending that bad things haven't happened or that sometimes people can do very bad things. And that sadly, where people get used to doing very bad things again and again, it becomes a habit and it actually begins to become their nature. I suppose you could almost set it against the fact that what Jesus is saying is we need to learn to be forgiving and we need to learn our weaknesses and our need for help in order that we can change and become loving people. Because by the practice of being loving and forgiving, we actually become the loving and forgiving people that he wants us to be, which we are not. Christianity, we must always remember, is set against the statement that bad people do bad things or that people, sometimes good people, can fail to do anything at all and that can amount to bad things happening and evil prospering. The sign of our religion is a sign of torture, of execution. Jesus, the loving, just Son of God, is executed. That is a statement of the fact that there is sinfulness, selfishness and evil in the world and that we are called to stand up against them, to see what they are and to stand up in the strength and the wisdom and the love and the forgiveness of Christ in order that we do not allow evil to overcome us just as he did not allow it to overcome him on the cross. On the cross, he is still saying, Father, forgive them, they don't know what they're doing. Forgiveness is not an easy option, and it is not about pretending. It's about trying to move forward, to be positive, to learn from the past, to put things right. And sometimes there are things which we can't put right. And isn't that 
one of the deepest points of our Christian faith. The statement that Jesus again and again makes is that his kingdom will come on earth as it is in heaven and that there will be justice. Things will be put right. Maybe we cannot put them right, but that doesn't mean to say that we should not tr stop trying to put them right. Undoubtedly, there are things happen which we find that we cannot forgive. We need to come to God and say, God, I know I am called by you to forgive, but I can't. And perhaps the best we may be able to say is, I want to be able to forgive, but I can't at the moment. Or even the prayer, I want to want to be able to forgive, but I can't at the moment. But the point is that we still pray that God will change us. That we still have the faith and believe that we can become different. That sin and evil will not overcome and will not conquer. The prayer is a seesaw. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who forgive as we forgive those who sin against us. We are called to be forgiving people, not to become doormats, not to close our eyes to what's wrong. Jesus didn't. Jesus was incredibly brave and honest and true. But he was also loving and forgiving. An extraordinary, or should we say, a divine mix. It is that mixture that we are called to aspire to as we grow to be the heirs of God's kingdom. A kingdom of love and forgiveness, but a kingdom also of peace built upon truth. We are now going to listen to our second piece of music. We began with the cuckoo. And perhaps this piece should turn our thoughts and our minds maybe to summer holidays uh, uh, in, in, the, um, in the Pacific as we listen to a song from the show South Pacific, Some Enchanted Evening, which is sung for us by Christian Street.
Shall we pray about these things? Heavenly Father, we remember today your Son's instruction in the Lord's Prayer that we should pray that our sins may be forgiven even as we forgive others. Father, we know that you are indeed a loving God. We thank you for the many opportunities and second chances that you give us again and again. We are sorry for the things that we get wrong and for the good things we fail to do. Help us also to learn to forgive others, to be brave and truthful and honest, but to be of an open and forgiving spirit, that even as we pray that we may be forgiven and changed and made the people that you created us to be, that we may be part of you enabling others to blossom and flourish, and become your children, even as we are. And the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you, your homes, and those you love, and those you find hard to love, today and always. Amen.